Hey guys and welcome back to Let's Play Encased. We are at the Phalanx headquarters and we bought the icebreaker relic needed for the ISO suit research. Also, Zemeckis asked us to find out how he is doing in the elections in Carmine Heights. What can he do to improve his chance to win? So not sure if we want to give him that information. But it is a side quest we can do. Chosen by the people. While we are at the Phalanx base, let's maybe check out the areas we haven't been to up to this point. The trading house, the diner and the barracks. Check out the diner first. And Rufus can exchange crowns points. Oh, good day. If you are here to exchange research points according to the new committee's program, I'm your man. What does it have to do with the new committee if you're on Phalanx territory? Well, here's the thing. Officially, we are participating in the Neocom program, but we enter the information in our own database first and then we sell it on to the committee. Tell him that reeks of fraud. Oh yeah, well, nothing stopping the committee from suing us. Yeah, we can get this stuff for less. At Magellan Station. It was nice chat. Ubon Savan. Apparently a little old lady dressed in an orange jumpsuit and an oversized broad brimmed hat. Badge was torn from her suit long ago. Now it hangs from her neck on a red ribbon. Ubon Savan. Howdy. Drink, food, hangover. I got everything here, just ask. So, why did you ask about a hangover? Special Thai remedy. She takes a jar of muddy red liquid from her pocket and shakes it in front of your face. They tell me it doesn't help, but what do they know? But you don't need it, I can tell. Your face looks fresh. So what will it be? Drink or food? You can maybe sell some of the <laughs> high level weapons. We don't need the well, we might encounter a possible companion who needs bladed weapons or blunt weapons. It's pretty cheap compared to the cafeteria in Magellan Station. Let's also get some water maybe. Uh, 
that we are allowed to take a look in the fridge. actually increase the or get some other recipes it could maybe increase survival to 60 gives us more carrying capacity more experience for exploring a location Might still have medicine to increase. So give us resuscitation. I think survival is actually more useful then. As long as we have resuscitation kits. Add the top ability is also still available. Need 25 points. Yeah, let's get that first. Sadist, damage dealt plus 33% to each enemy with 25% health or less. Uh, let's take a look in the barracks. Cleaning gun barrels. I thought it was maybe the place to find some good weapons. The barracks. Ammo. Or casings. Personal box. 
Yeah, we don't have any... We have a weapon repair kit. So we could upgrade the weapon to level 6. amount of upgrades available three I think for high-tech weapons and I probably should have called this a weapon upgrade kit at least then I wouldn't have sold it so easily shaft probably leads to the warehouse I guess but I'm not sure so maybe check it out way to get into the base trading house still unexplored let's take a look and then we'll probably head back to Carmine Heights Big Phil, sweaty man, long moustache, is dabbing his forehead and neck with a handkerchief. As you approach, he blows his nose long and hard in the same rag. I'm all ears. I am Big Phil, I'll sell all kinds of crap. You want some? So, how is trade these days? Well, so so. Going all right. Right, Phil, let's trade. Mechanical repair kit. Weapon repair kit. Let's get them. Now let's maybe sell the bladed weapon. Get another high-tech manual. Uh, that might be a melee weapon. Technical manual. Well, Crumb uses hand-to-hand -hand weapons. I suppose that is considered a melee weapon.
Let's keep the enforcer as an alternative weapon for Crumb. Yeah, we probably can sell the cycle off too. Very good. Anything in here? Cannot be looted. Considered stealing. So let's not do that. Tired, slightly puffy guy. This is Yegor. Need junk, talk to Phil. I just guard and stuff. What about Barbara? Tall, fit, dark skinned woman. She's not wearing a jacket, a badge reading Barbara Kamau is attached directly to her t-shirt <laughs> which strains mightily to contain a powerful bosom Jaeger, get up come on we got a client how can i help i'm barbara this is Jaeger, and the fellow behind the counter is big phil he'll answer your questions and sell goods while we ensure the security of the transaction welcome and with these words, she raises a huge rifle and rests it on her shoulder. Well, thanks for the information, Barbara. We'll get going now. After we take a look in the trash. here I don't think so so let's head back to call my heights Deliver the icebreaker. Something here, all right. Let's check it out. Painted servo shell. Hmm. Don't seem like a good idea to walk through that. Reinheitsgebot, color scheme. <laughs> what? 
the flag of Germany paintwork scheme for for a server shell. Not sure what we can use that for. Anything else outside? Guess not. Right, let's hit the road. And let's get to Carmine Heights. The breeze carries the smell of rotting flesh. Leading you quickly to its source. Right, the small and mutilated corpse. We have seen that a few times, I think. This guy. Let's not pick up the cans. Let's not examine the body. Let's just walk away. rest till morning you see a person walking along the road apparently lost the traveler's appearance is rather unusual they are wearing an old fashioned Kronos uniform that looks surprisingly clean, like new in fact. Well, let's approach. A lonely traveler's camp. Hi there. Lord, a living person, how great is that? There's abandoned cars and empty residential blocks all over. Even a base of some kind, but not a single living soul. It's weird, goddammit. A deserted base. What are you talking about? Cole Kilmer. I'm, you know, I've never seen anything more beautiful than the dome in my life. It's a special place, that's for sure. I was so happy when my application was approved. Right. I was assigned to a special brigade, maybe you've heard of it. We went to all sorts of places. Ankara, White Swan, Kaleidoscope. Been everywhere, all over. So we were out riding one day and I heard this hum. It got louder and louder and then everything went white. And here I am. And for some reason I get the feeling a lot of time has passed. Yeah, let's give him what an explanation of what happened to the world and the coordinates of the nearest settlements without any specific advice. Everything changed so much. Last time I looked at the map, this was all completely different. You're right, I have to think things over. Starting now. 
This is all damned unexpected for sure. Thanks for your help. Without you, I've had, had been figuring things out for a long time. Happy trails. Well, good luck to you. Another thing we can do in Carmine Heights is talk to the residents. How do they feel about Zemeckis? He is trying to win the election here. And instead of immediately bringing the icebreaker to Robin and Todor. Maybe we should get the Shelite fiber first. We don't need both items, but Robin believes the relic is needed, the icebreaker, and Todor. Thanks, the project's success lies in the use of the fiber. They are testing hypotheses, so right now we can only test one. Not sure if this will close the quest if we deliver the icebreaker. I might actually go to Junk Town first. <laughs> or talk to some of the residents, see what they think about Zemeckis. Maya, Miss Wellers, she certainly has a lot of spirit and she starts scanning around for another target for her propaganda. Alright then, what do you think about Zemeckis' candidacy in the Carmine Heights election? Zemeckis, are you for real? He should be kept as far from power as possible. And move away before you get recruited into campaigning. This woman clearly did her time in the orange wing, her dark skin is covered in blue tattoos and her overalls unzipped to the waist are faded, but still recognizably orange. She frowns as you approach. Oh, what do you want? Hey, you ain't from Neocom by chance? No? Okay, I'll let you live for now. You think I'm joking? Put this in your pipe. Rose Dillard jokes only once. That's me by the way. And after that, you're dead. I hate that damned neocom. And especially that bitch Nakamura. Peace making Democrat, my ass. She's even more of a fascist than Zemeckis. Well, right, we know what you think about Zemeckis. Don't even have to ask. I mean, at least he doesn't hide his beliefs. So what do you think about his candidacy? 
She cracks her knuckles. Well, he's definitely an asshole. I'd lower the boom on him for a couple of things. Look, if Rose Dillard wanted to go to Zemeckis, she joined the phalanx, right? Right. Back away carefully. No sudden moves. So not a lot of enthusiasm for Zemeckis. In the afternoon, <laughs> Carmine Heights is under attack. That comes out of nowhere. Scurry and shoes and you realize that something is wrong. You decide to find out who's interrupting your peace and quiet. A small flock of apparently hostile hyenas is about to attack. You understand that a fight is inevitable, apparently, because we don't have criminal 50. Strike as one. Wow. Stop it. It's not humane. How many attacks do these guys have and what kind of hyenas? <laughs> A cyber hyena? Hmm. Maya may die. We are a long way off. Not really able to help. Yeah, she will die. That's going to be more effective uh, from this angle. Right, more help. Phantasm. Can he actually get in range? No. All right, move up then. Precise shots. Let's go with the cryo shot for the fragility debuff. Check out the new weapon. And this shot reduces the target's damage, increases invasion, evasion. Evasion cannot see that. Let's reduce the damage. And go with a formidable shot. Living creatures lose 2 AP in the next round. Show them. 
Wow. That was my available. It's kind of a shame. I wanted to save her actually. But we were too far away. Go for a relic dart. Firing line, right? Relic dart not available. Well, all right, let's go for a regular shot then on this guy. How about a target that is a little bit closer? Not in the firing line. Hmm. Stop it, it's not your aim. Yeah, this guy gets Molotov, <laughs> but Rose Dillard, can we maybe save Wilson? A relic Dart, let's hope for a crit, no. Let's get closer to Wilson, although Rose may use more Molotovs, so getting near Rose might be dangerous. for a regular blast with the flamethrower <laughs> need to reload hit points left why the hell did I join Cronus <laughs> wow, cannot save this guy. Wilson O'Regan dies. I'm 
I assume these guys are not quest related. Scan them. Yeah, there was nothing we could do. When these guys attacked the hyenas, we were too far away. Well, that's kind of disappointing. Let's talk to Dutch. Maybe he has something to say about this fight. I don't like you. Dutch Nicholson. A Blackwing employee. I, don't, I say we don't need any mob ruling over us. Turn this place into a swamp. And no real business gets done here. I will repeat as many times as need be. We need a strong vertical of authority. Zemeckis over there holds the entire phalanx in his fist. And us libertines need just that kind of fist. Whether you agree with me or not. Hieronymus is one heck of a guy, you'll see. So, again, it's not really a mystery what he thinks about Zemeckis. Let's ask him about the candidacy, candidacy either way. I believe I told you everything. Indeed, you did. Zemeckis is the best candidate. I'm going to vote for him and will advise all my friends to do the same. That's not a great idea. Dutch. We don't want Zemeckis to win the election. But maybe the neighbors he wanted to convince are lying on the street here. So they will not vote for, <laughs> vote for Zemeckis. They are black wing and orange wing. Oh, well, Maya was a campaigner. She didn't like Zemeckis and this guy, not sure. And with that I'll make a cut here. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.